Okay, this is the video that you have all been waiting for, where a hardcore survival instructor tells you that you get to bring along your pillow. Well, it's not quite that good, but if you have read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Douglas Adams, I believe, you probably remember that towels play a very important part in the book. Every interstellar traveler brings along their towel, which is this all-purpose item. We bushcrafters, rewilders, survivalists, there's a similar item that we can bring along that most of us don't think about. You've read the title already, so you know what it is. A pillowcase can actually be a great thing to bring along in your pack. Of course, we know that these are inexpensive. If you go to your uh, any secondhand store, you can pick these up for next to nothing. They're also light and not very bulky, so it's an easy thing to pack along. A pillowcase? Okay, so first of all, it can be a pillow. Even the toughest of us benefit from a good night's sleep, and a pillow, especially on rough terrain, can sometimes make the difference between getting no sleep at all and really enjoying your sleep. Cattails? Every head here has an amazing amount of fluff. If you fill a pillowcase with cattail down, it will be the equivalent of the most expensive uh, pillow that you can buy at the store. Super soft. Doesn't have to be cattail down. You can also stuff this with leaves, pine needles, grasses. Not only then do you have a pillow to sleep on, but if your area is a place where there's a lot of dew, when you wake up in the morning, you will have a huge bag full of dry fire making material ready. Hidden benefit of that good night's sleep. We all know when we are laying out equipment for a project, it's easy to pick things up and does it look like I forgot anything? Yeah. Right there. It's really easy to lose objects, gear, especially if it's natural colored. Again, your pillowcase. Whenever you're doing projects, your materials can rust there and they're nice and organized and you know they're not gonna get lost. It also serves as a friction fire area. Today, everything is wet. So even if I were gonna lay down a piece of birch bark, it's going to affect the coal I'm trying to get with a hand drill. Here, I have a nice dry surface where that coal can gather. Sure, I'm gonna burn a hole in this, but it's the nice thing about these pillowcases. They're very disposable and gives you a great place to do all kinds of projects, including a dry place for hand drill, bow drill, etc. Tis the season for milkweed, finding their break off point where they snap off and then adding them to a stew. Guess what? A gathering bag for wild edibles. Off they come, right into your bag, and plenty of room to fill it up and bring back a nice haul for dinner. Insert a stone, and you have a club-like weapon that is capable of doing Massive damage. You have two pillowcases. Drop a stone into each one. Hold them up like that. We're going to tie a piece of paracord around here and then to the other one. This is the bola. Again, using the rock inside the pillowcase. 
and a piece of climbing rope, you can get yourself up into a tree that otherwise would not be possible to climb. Those are just a few uses of the everyday common pillowcase. Like the Interstellar Traveler's Towel, it is a multi-use piece of gear that is easy to come by and can actually make a lot of difference out in the woods. Like many of these items that aren't single use or specific use, the more creative you get, the more ways you can think of to use them. So if you can think of other ways to make a pillowcase be useful out in the woods, write it in the comments, let me know. Uh, hope you had fun with this video.